Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen. This is my channel. So I got my replacement Misfits Market Box and I did contact them and they were very nice enough to replace the box for free and I am very they were very easy to work with. Their customer service was very quick and very friendly. So I'm going to see it feels cold to the outside. It feels chilly. So I'm very hopeful about this one and then this one did ship FedEx the first one was delivered by UPS so this one is definitely shipped by FedEx and it shipped in two days like they had promised instead of the three which I'm not sure I'm not blaming the Misfits Market company themselves because I saw that it's set in a warehouse in one of the shipping the UPS shipping facilities for a whole day before it was delivered so that I'm blaming on the delivery service and not the Misfits Market themselves. So I'm going to open it and we'll see what's inside and see how it is. Give me a second. Alright, so here is the flyer that came with it. And we'll open this up and see. They are melted. But these are slightly cold. So. I will give them that, that it is cold, and it is summer, so I don't expect it to stay frozen as it would. My cat is trying to get in the box already. You can't get in the box until it's empty. Get down. And it is cold, it is slightly chilled inside, so better than last time because actually when I opened it last time I could feel the heat come out of it so better so let me put this on my chair and then I will show you what's inside all right so the recipe that came with this time is grilled eggplant with tahini dressing all right so the first item on top of my box is Organic rainbow chard. I've never had this before. It's beautiful. It's in really good shape. Looks very crispy. I'm gonna have to read up. My cat wants to see what it's all about. You get back. You don't need this. So this is my first very large item. Lakeside Organic Gardens product of the USA. It doesn't say where it was produced at, but Lakeside Organic Gardens. Very beautiful. Next, these are, I can tell what these are, and these look really good. These are two zucchinis. I love zucchini. They look very good. We have an eggplant. Ooh. Very nice. A container of fresh blueberries. Those look really good. I love blueberries. A cucumber. Another cucumber. Three apples. Oh. Oh, that apple does not look good. That is a bad apple. But it seems like it's just on the surface and it doesn't go very deep, so that is salvageable. A package of heirloom tomatoes. Those look really nice. Love tomatoes as well. Next item is a butternut squash. Looks really good to me. I'm not sure how to, what to make out of these. If you have any suggestions, let me know. I would definitely like to try something with that. A head of cauliflower, or no, this is not cauliflower. A head of cabbage, 
which is really cool because I just got a head of cabbage. I was gonna get two, but I only got one, so I have another head of cabbage. Two purple onions. Make that three purple onions. Three limes. And two mangoes. So that's what I got in my Misfits Market box. I will have to say I am more pleased with this box than I was the original box. Um, the ice packs, even though the ice packs were melted this time again, they were still cold to the touch and before they were hot to the touch. And when I opened the box last time, it was hot inside the box. This was actually a little chilly inside the box. So I can't ask for much more than that because it is summertime and it is two day shipping. So that, you know, you can't ask for much more than that in 90 degree weather with high humidity. So I am pleased with it. Um, all the produce looked really well except for that one spot on the apple and the apple is still salvageable It was just a little it was a surface um, Bad spot it didn't go didn't seem to go very deep in the apple so not bad at all I'm very pleased with that and if you guys know of any Recipes to use Swiss chard or acorn squash or any of the other vegetables I got if you have any suggestions on recipes go ahead and leave them in the comments below and Maybe I'll make a video of me using some of the vegetables that I got in the fruit So I will see you again. Definitely recommend the Misfits Market box um, Even though you can't pick what you get it's kind of fun every once in a while to get it to get a surprise of fruits and vegetables and just use what they send you and I definitely think once it turns fall again I'll try it again because it'll be more guaranteed that the ice packs will stay frozen and everything will stay the way it's supposed to like I said this time it did stay frozen and everything was good so I hope maybe it was just a one-time thing and it was just a mix-up like I said I don't blame the company itself because it's set in the UPS facility for a whole day before it was delivered so I don't know anyhow that is my replacement box thank you so much to Misfit Market for replacing the box for free for me I really appreciate that their customer service was very nice and very prompt to respond to my email and that makes it nice to deal with a company like that so Thank you very much to them, and thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone. All right, I thought I would show you guys a recipe. A few people were interested in the cabbage steak recipe, and since I got a cabbage in my Misfits Market box, I decided to just throw this recipe in with my Misfit Market haul. So I'm using the cabbage that I got, and I'm not going to include the exact calories or carbs in this recipe for the simple fact that the number of carbs is going to depend on how big each of your cabbage steaks are. This is a half of the head, and these are all different ounces. So this big guy here is almost six ounces. It was 5.8 ounces. This little guy over here was 2.8 ounces, almost three, and these two here were like 3.6 ounces, so four ounces. So it will the, the number of carbs in your cabbage will depend on how big each slice is. And also, when I sliced it, I first I sliced it in half, and here's the other half that I'm not using right now. When I sliced it in half, I left the core because that helps each steak kind of stay together. So I would probably suggest leaving the core in, although this one here kind of came apart a little bit, but they did stay together a lot better when you leave the core attached. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set this aside. Okay, so now I have my oven preheating at 400 degrees. I have my cabbages sliced and set aside. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the topping or the drizzle for the cabbage steaks. So first of all, in this container I have melted two tablespoons of butter, and this is real butter and not the fake margarine stuff for keto. I've been learning it's better to use the actual butter for the fats instead of margarine. Um, so that's what I have is real butter, and to that I'm going to add a teaspoon 
of extra virgin olive oil just to give it some extra fat and extra taste. So as far as the topping goes, so far we have zero carbs in our two tablespoons of melted butter and a teaspoon of olive oil. And to that I'm going to be adding two teaspoons of minced garlic. And for each teaspoon it's one gram of carb, but that's not bad because we are dividing this between four of the cabbage steaks. So I only have my half a teaspoon, so we're going to be adding four of these. ingredient is some of the ranch seasoning mix. Now this has, for a half of a teaspoon, there is also one gram of carbs. If you guys know of any ranch dressing mix that is carb free, you can let me know. But this is the only one I had found and it does have one gram of carb for a half a teaspoon. I'm going to add two teaspoons of the ranch seasoning mix to my butter mixture and again I'm using my half teaspoon measure so I'll be adding four of these Alright, so now what we're going to do is give this a stir. And you can see it's kind of thick down there, so you want to make sure you get it all kind of stir it up and mix together. I have lined the baking pan with parchment paper. I just find that's easier for cleanup and it doesn't stain my baking pan, although I do have some stains over the hair. So I'm just going to spoon this over each cabbage steak. Right now that we have all that drizzled over the top, I do have a little bit extra in the container. I'm going to save that for when it comes out of the oven if I need a little bit extra. And to that, I'm going to add, instead of adding direct salt, because this does have salt in it, I'm going to sprinkle on some everything but the bagel seasoning, well, everything bagel seasoning blend. And it does have salt in this, so I'm not, I don't have to add salt by itself. I'm just going to sprinkle this, and this is carb free, so I'm just going to sprinkle this over each.
All right, now I'm gonna pop that in the oven for, I'm gonna start with 20 minutes and I will check it after 20 minutes and see what it looks like and see if it needs any longer. All right, fresh out of the oven. My cabbage steaks were in there for about 20 to 25 minutes. I was doing something else and I didn't catch them quite at 20 minutes, so it stayed about an extra five. So as you can see, they're done. They're kind of falling apart, but they're very tender. I'm going to let them cool for a couple minutes and then I'm gonna plate one up and I will taste it and let you know what I think about it. Okay, so we're gonna give this a taste and see what it tastes like. Here it is, plated up. This is one of the medium-sized ones. It was almost four ounces before it was cooked, baked, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I did notice, I did add a little bit extra of the drizzle to my plate, and if I do this again, which I think I will because it smells good, it depends on how it tastes, but if I do this again, I would definitely um, put half of the drizzle mixture on and then brush, I need a brush, but I would brush the other half on them after they come out of the oven because it makes it nice and it melts over the top and it makes it nice and glisteny. So let's give this a taste and see what it tastes like. This is very good. I do think though the next time I'm going to leave out the ranch seasoning. Um, I do like ranch, but it gives it an added flavor that I don't really think it needs the ranch. I think just the garlic and the butter with everything but the bagel seasoning is plenty. I mean, it is good, but I think I would prefer it just without the ranch next time. So there you go. I think this is delicious. I think this would be great paired together with maybe a actual steak or a burger or something that else is zero carbs like I know most meat is so you could actually have it with chicken or hamburger or turkey any kind of that would be great or you could just have it by itself which would be great too and keep it vegan all right so thanks for joining me this was my misfits market recipe that I got my cabbage from the misfit market so thank you to them for providing me with a delicious lunch for today and I will see you guys next time and I'll have another recipe coming soon. Bye everyone!